Ever wonder why some Roblox games are insanely addicting and others, like maybe your own, are just boring? Well, today we're actually going to talk about one of the main things that causes this and exactly how you can create this in your game. This is called a core loop. This is the exact thing that you need to plan out for your game to have it be engaging and a really simple way to plan out your gameplay and get a good idea of where you want to go and how to keep your player engaged. If you want to make a captivating Roblox game, keep watching. A core loop is basically an endless cycle of actions and rewards that keep you hooked to the gameplay. So say a player joins the game and they're in a simulator. Then they go ahead and use their pets to break coin piles. Then they buy new upgrades and then maybe rebirth and now they have access to new upgrades and then they go back to breaking coins more and well that would be kind of a core loop that it goes in a circle you repeat this process over and over and over and the thing about it is things in the gameplay will change but the core loop in most games will completely be pretty much the same you do the same actions every single time and that's what makes a game engaging you have a very addicting core loop and that's where the root of much of your game design is going to be. But we should look at how some games have used this. Well, every game you know, like Tower Defense Simulator, Adopt Me, Brookhaven, all of them have this in common. They have a core loop, and this keeps players hooked in the game, whether it is caring for their pets, trading them, and continuing to earn coins and update their housing, etc. in Adopt Me, or just continually role-playing and meeting new people, repeating that in Brookhaven, it all has a core loop. But yeah, that is basically what a core loop is. But now, really, like, how do I even do this, you're probably asking. Well, that's actually really easy. So first, identify the main action in your game that players are going to do most often. Next, you want to decide what is the reward or the payoff for what they do, and then create a reason for them to repeat that over and over and over. And boom, you have a very basic core loop. And you can always extend it out, add different branches, and have different things that change. But that is how you basically make a core loop. You have a main action, you have a reward, and then you're trying to figure out a way to keep them to continue doing that. So they could, you know, break coin piles, boom, they get coins. And then maybe the reason why they're doing that is to get more items. Boom, that's your core loop for a simulator, very simple one. So yeah, there you go. And remember, action, reward, repeat. 